nine, eight, seven, six, five. So we're going live. Second map, play versus unknown. It's going to be Purgatory, unknown's map pick. And off to start with Hazard's point of view with a rocket launcher in this upper area. Teammates all around him. Looks like they got the red armor off the start and maybe even the rail. With Lingo, yeah, has he got it? Not sure. Nice start to have if they do. Uh, not sure they did as a result. Wow, oh, a long range rocket. rocket. Well, what was I saying about Superstar Rocket? Supremo Hazard. Gonna have to start thinking about the power up here though. Senti diving in. They've stolen that red away. We saw Play do this actually. In the previous match, that second red spawn, making their rush for them. Something teams will have to watch out for. They do control the red on this map early on. Maybe it's to come out with the red grab. He's on the battle suit. If it's uh, going to spawn anytime soon, he's going to get very lucky. And there he is with it. Quad in the hands of Lincoln, though. So this is always a danger when a player of Lincoln's caliber has a quad damage. It's that first rail on the battle suit. Pushed him away. Mobius is probably not going to go aggressive. Yeah, wisely backs off Mobius. There's nothing he can do to Lincoln when Lincoln stood up in that position. Lincoln with quad rail. Such a beast. Takes out Puri. We've got two frags on this run. Always wrong footed there. Surprised he was actually considering the sounds. But. Lincoln won't be in too great a mood after that first map, but he'll definitely be happy to see this map, their home map set choice. Good opportunity to right some wrongs as you'll see it. Curry just diving in there, getting a quick frag, even getting away a rail shot as well. Gets some serious damage. Nice LG boss. They really are timing their attacks into this red room very effectively, Rob. Yeah, which is important because you know you don't want to spend too much time in here. I and mean, once the items are taken, once that lightning gun and red are gone, it's not the best room to hang around in. No, it's so important in team deathmatch nowadays to have accurate timing on items. In so order, in order you can time your attacks in the areas effectively. Maybe it's moving in there. That was example, prime example, to steal that rail away from unknown possession. Lincoln did get the frag on his exit though. Four frags is the margin. Second set of power-ups up soon. 25 seconds to a battle suit. And Lincoln just overrun this rail side. Yeah, he's just he's caught out on his own in a, a, by three people, basically. We've seen this the way Play do um, play this map is on that rail side. They're very locked down on there with time packs on the red. Probably hit some heavy rockets there, but he's not looking too strong himself. Diving on that battle suit maybe a little bit earlier. Mobius would perhaps be more suited to it. Oh, was he plasma down? Did he actually die there? Not quite. He must be so weak, but look at wins! Oh my god, Optimizer catching him out in the air. Second frag for him as well in a row. What a rare mistake by Wins there, boy. Yeah, I can only think that Wins must have thought that he didn't have that lightning gun, because that's suicidal against a lightning gun, no matter who it is. Amazing. Teams are tied and. Play with play one nil up. Get pretty good at the moment. Optimize a shotgun. Arms off his lightning gun to a teammate. Drops down by the red. Way missed Way missed time that is really quite surprising. I think he was just taking he must have just been taking a gamble on it really, wasn't he? Yeah, I mean I'm, I'm assuming they had the time because you know they I'm sure they were present for the previous take. Pretty gonna grab it. Looks like he's just about to move away from it actually as it spawns underneath him. It does have a lightning gun to his name. Always gonna be a threat with whatever weapon he's got, but especially with a lightning gun. Oh, yeah. Well, that's a player like Peru. And he'll want to just clear out these top areas, I imagine, and just make sure the red stays secure. But I think he's going to need to look to put more pressure on the rail because, you know, with the kind of players unknown having a lineup, there's no way you can allow them to get too many rails in their hands. Well, we've seen they've had a very good start to the game by controlling the rail. We saw them grouped over there quite a lot. Lincoln was under pressure there. But now they've moved into the red. They spent the last two minutes maybe more on the red side. Or minute. Yep. Um, that could mean Unknown do have a few rails to their names. Yeah, and Unknown, they've got the kind of players that will easily be able to rail their way back into the game. You know, they'll, they'll know the positions to take up to look for the shots, and caliber of players they have in their team, fight. they'll more than likely hit Three, the majority of two, those shots. One, fight. There's Puri. Got a 
nice chunk of armor to his name. Rocket launcher, lightning gun, good heavy lightning gun in the back of Gerpa. Don't know if Gerpa had a weapon there either. But Puri's got himself a rail on top of that now, and he's looking like a beast roaming this map. Yeah, and this is these are uh, really nice wow. positions to roam, because you know, you can kind of keep the red safe by dominating that position up top. You know, you keep the red safe from the spam coming from above. I really wish we could check his accuracy. These last few bursts of lightning gun have been pinpoint precision. Well, Puri needs to knock wins away from that quad could be up any second. Battlesuit in the hands of Hazard. Puri looking better off though with the quad grab. He's just going to rush through as he takes out Gerpa again. Oh my god, out LG's Hazard! Pushing him just away from that red armor. He rewards himself with that and with a fresh lightning gun. Wow! Gets caught out really badly there, Puri. That was strange. Yeah, because he could see the player on his right. Yeah. I yeah, I would have been what a, to think. would have been a quick quick burst of lightning gun. That player would have been dead. I can't imagine they had. Well, if they had any armor, it would, it would have been one yellow, nothing more. Than that. Yeah, maybe worried about the raider just around the corner there. Maybe just trying to catch him out. He could have been zoomed in, of course. Traditionally, some of the players used to zoom on their lightning gun, and Puri is old school, so I'm, I'm not sure if that's in his comfort. Yeah, possibly. We're just getting caught out of the bounce pad by Gerpa. We haven't really seen in this tournament the kind of dominant play we've seen from Gerpa in the past year. No, I mean, exactly. He used to be regularly topping the damage output for his old team, Zentorium. But not really putting in that level of play this season. Yeah, I mean, maybe it's his, his role within that team. Kind of guy who would get given more of the items to go out and do that damage. Whereas in the unknown team, it's probably quite low down in the pecking order. Well, that or they wouldn't really maybe focus on stacking someone up. That's very true. Optimize, they're going to get caught out by the shotgun as a hazard. It's kind of a dangerous situation though because he's got that rail, and then yeah, inevitably machine comes out by spawner. Few seconds to go until the next power up spawn. They're roughly synced. It's going to be battle suit first. Wind's going to grab this one. Quad to follow in the hands of Optimizer, and they've just each team has got one power up at least each. No double power ups thus far, which is good to see. Now you often we see teams try and split and think they can take both, but it backfires. Okay, would be really pretty handy as well. This is a good start to the run. He's got caught out. By Hazard in the back. He was really going to take out the battle suit there. Sounded like he did some heavy damage to Wins. But Hazard just catching out the battle suit. Excellent bit of LG on uh, Optimizer as well. They're picking up a load of frags as players just giving them away, rushing into that room there. Yeah, I mean, that drop down from the upper, upper level was suicidal. I mean, lightning Gun is just going to hit every single cell. I do see it from time to time in a match, it's just, if you do it regularly, you're going to be giving away so many frags over a period of a match that it's really not a good idea at all. Yeah, because the advantage they got from their good start is, you know, it's on its way to being wiped out. They've yeah, been eroded away, partly by just giving up frags like that. Yeah, and then they may have had an easy time in the first map, but you know, on a map like this, unknown and more, more than familiar with it, they're... Then we've got some players who are amongst the best at this map playing for them. Can't be complacent at all after an easy first map. It's Gerpa now from this window point, raining down the rocket. Managed to connect with one, ignores the fresh spawn of the rocket. Got his shotgun to utilize against Optimize. He's gonna have to back off here to survive though. He isn't caught out again by uh, multiple team players will play. That is something that we highlighted before, just play. They do tend to group a lot more often than many of the teams out there. Yeah, I mean, if you get attacked by one of them, you can expect someone else to be very close. You've always got to have that in the back of your mind. It's very rarely that they get isolated. Here's Wins with the pick of a battle suit. Puri with the quad. Mega, what? Why did he do that? Mobius, you must have seen Puri with the quad. It... That was a really... Even if you didn't see him, you'd have heard it take him. Yeah. You know how close it is to Mega. It's bizarre choice to take the Mega away from the quad, it, and it really stops him being able to do too much actually, because he has to be a lot more cautious. It takes the yellow as well, Sinti. I don't know if maybe Puri's telling him to take these items. You can 
can only think with that yellow armor there at least. Oh, that is unlucky. Oh, no. That's a really bad passage of play from Puri's point of view. I mean, most of it wasn't him, but it just didn't work out well at all. It's now yeah, everything could have gone wrong. It, it did. I mean, teammates taking away items that he needed for his quad. Drops that rail because he's low on health for a teammate, but gets killed by Lincoln. Just really unlucky. Game wins unknown in the lead here. Excellent. We control the red room. Yeah, and you have to say that it's not purely from unknowns you know, own good play. It's mistakes being made by play at the same time. That's what we're more used to them is not making any mistakes. Maybe we're being a bit too critical on play. Most teams do make a fair amount of mistakes over around unknown. They do themselves. Look at that though, optimizing. Just diving in, trying to steal that way. He did have team support, but they came in a little bit late. If you're going to make a dive like that, it has to be on the back of your teammates attacking in and drawing the fire away. Oh. That was interesting. <laughs> okay. I can only assume he heard a play around the corner, went to spam a rocket behind his teammate and just managed to connect with his teammate or with the wall. I'm not really sure. Here's the battle suit going to be up any second. Go in a good position in terms of armor. Takes out his teammate. It's cleared the area, but it's not been picked up. Lincoln has grabbed the quad. It could have been a double power. The battle suit's still sitting on its spot, and it is a double power in the hands of wins. And everybody's just going down there. I can't really tell what's going on, but the quad's been eliminated. I think Lincoln's probably still running around with the battle suit. He just couldn't get that rail away. He'd be desperate to switch to it. He waited until he had a teammate drawing the fire away before he did. And it works out pretty well. Not connecting with his rails though, and Gerpa does grab himself that rail gun. But he's not really connecting with his shots to do it today either. Impressive. The third impressive of the map. There is Mega Health. I mean, what do you think the key to this map is for? Well, I think against a team like Unknown, one of the most important things does have to be keeping that rail under control. And even if we are seeing you know, players miss their shots, that rail is just so vital. Especially against a team with such strong railers. And even if even if they're not playing the perfect game in terms of team play and tactics, their rails are so good that that can make the difference. Doing some hefty damage with that lightning gun. He's survived out in this area on his own while all his teammates around him were dying. Again, superb play by Wins. Next red armor will be up any second. Did just catch sight of Optimizer, who almost would have ambushed him. Yeah, it would have been a good position to ambush with that shotgun. If Wins hadn't have seen him, he could have just suddenly found 110 damage in his back. Now, they look quite well set up for this. It's a five second gap, though, between the quad and the battle suit. Quad up now. Oh, takes a needless rail in a way. Parif grabbing that one. Mega health is in his hands this time. Oh my god. Thinking almost getting in there. Gerpa takes a chunk of damage. He's not stacked himself. Mobius could only hit. Another rail on him, but his battle suit's too strong. Optimizer pushing him back with a shaft of Gerpa with battle suit having to back off. Yeah, he had to really. He couldn't take the risk, but if he'd have missed his next rail, could have been the end of him. Yeah, they can miss a rail shot. He really won't be happy himself with missing his rails. I mean, he's grown so accustomed to such high accuracies, these players. <laughs> With the rails that when they're slightly off form, it makes such a difference. 20% to play, 20 health left for Gerpa, just giving away his weapons to teammates. Probably be quite frustrating for him now to run over a few health bubbles, but it doesn't on this occasion. Optimize just steaming in, shotgun kill. He's now down by this mega, trying to catch out Gerpa off the spawn. Did a couple of good shotgun damage before Gerpa countering. And we've got six minutes left for. We've got three sets of power-ups remaining. The score gap is pretty close. I mean, can you see it going either way here? Is there any one team that looks the more dominant? 
Oh, well, no one's dominating, that's for sure, and it certainly could still go either way. You know, neither team has made any huge mistakes because, you know, unlike a lot of games, we haven't really seen, you know, double power up runs and one team just giving up power ups easily. They've actually both been quite effective. Just runs kind of into Lincoln. By mistake, if anything, there. Lincoln's now got a drop rail. This could be very dangerous for the setup of quad. For play. Looks like Unknown have overrun that area. Oh! Heavy rocket, but it evaded hitting winds. It should be a power up each here. Five minute Maybe it's looking pretty good as well. Ran straight into that rail, though, from winds. Yeah, it might have been a good idea to bluff going that other direction. We are back to wins for a few. Oh my god! The Bowser catches him out! Ambush. What an ambush! That was superb! I didn't expect that at all. I mean, you could see it. Wins had just no clue they would be there. Usually you'd hear the water, of course. So they snuck in very effectively. What a good ambush. Probably the best ambush I've probably ever seen on this map. In that kind of area. Yeah, because I didn't hear any sound cue, and then I got my sound quite low, but... I didn't hear anything. It didn't look like winds had reacted to any sound. It really worked out perfectly. I mean, I almost wish I stayed with Mobius's pop to see how he did that. Mm. But it was quite a shock from Wind's point of view at the same time. Mobius just diving in there, stealing away that Mega from Gerber. That must be so frustrating. Gerber gets the kill, but uses up so much ammo and misses out on the Mega as a result. Okay, but trying to pressure in at that rail it does lose out on the battle though. Optimizer steaming in again. He's been so aggressive this map, Optimizer. You can really see his style of play. It's just get in an area as quick as you can, win it over, do maximum damage. But still, we've got two sets of power ups left to spawn. Next is in quad in 15 seconds. It's quite a gap between the two now. I'd almost say it's quite important to challenge the quad now. Yeah, quite a bit of rust would be able to get very close to the battle suit, and of course there are those dangerous pitfalls straight into the void in the battle suit area. There we go, Lincoln with the quad misses that rail, and again. He's missed out on a red pickup as well, and Puri has got a battle suit that's tanked to the brim. What's Lincoln just dropping down and he gets eliminated so easily? You really don't expect to see that when Lincoln's got a quad. You expect to see him pick up so many frags. Lincoln getting taken out up the bounce pad. Puri going aggressive here. I don't know if it was, was Lincoln caught out or something. Or shot in the back. But the only thing I can think is, you know, once he made the move out towards the rail area and didn't see the battle suit immediately, he probably thought, okay, the battle suit is going around the other way on the map, so he thought he'd be safe. Yeah. Well, it's a strange situation. He probably managed to just hit his shot as Wins misses his. And I think it's just about the right time for Puri to uh, switch it on. He's done a lot of damage in this last minute. It's really helping his team secure that gap of 20 frags at the moment going in to this last two minutes on Purgatory. Sorry, they're behind, aren't they? I'll try and bring it back. Unknown, do you need to win this map? 20 frags, two minutes for? Very difficult to come back. You know, this is not a game where we've seen the mistakes that have led to double power ups. I think this only happened once, but even then that didn't result in a double power up run, so very difficult for play to turn this around. And you know, you have to say that there's been a lot of good rail work by Unknown. Obviously vastly improved from the first map and you know they are very experienced on this map and it certainly shows. It's not like the way of going three mapper here. Unless something uh, stunning could be done, a seven second gap between the quad and the battle suit gives well, a play huge opportunity. Well, could still cost unknown this game, but I don't see them making one. But it's solid in game. Oh, Wins is caught out in the back by Sensi's rail. Sensi just doing a runner hazard, coming in, stealing away that quad. We didn't see much of hazards apart from at the start there, but that's a key grab. Whoa, Mobius almost going into the void there. Crazy, uh... <laughs> That's a crazy little run. So 
takes a big chunk of damage from that quad. That's completely nullified that run. Yeah, nothing's really happened to him on that run, and I think he probably realised partway through, okay, there's no chance of bringing this back now. So it looks like we're going to go into a third map. Yeah, both teams winning their map picks. I'm interested, it was Play choosing to eliminate DM20, Unknown choosing to eliminate Terminus. You know, that leaves us with Intervention, Dreadful Place, or Grim Dungeons for the third map. I'm going to predict, I don't know what it is, but it's going to be Dreadful Place. It's just my prediction, Vor. It's not going to be Dreadful Place. Ooh, well, okay.